subscribe, like, and share. Universal Center for Renovation, Historical Israelite. Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus, born between August 25th and October 31, 1451, died May 20th, 1506, was an Italian explorer and navigator who completed four voyages across the Atlantic Ocean, opening the way for the widespread European exploration and colonization of the Americas. Probing question, was Christopher Columbus Jewish? Five centuries after his death, Christopher Columbus remains a mysterious and controversial figure. Italy, Spain, Portugal, and Greece all claim the celebrated navigator and explorer as one of their own. Yet, there are few accurate records pertaining to Columbus' personal life and identity. Years of speculation suggest that most stories about him are probably based on legend. However, one theory seems particularly persistent. For many years, it has been rumored that Christopher Columbus was Jewish or of Jewish descent. Christopher Columbus, the hidden Jew. Other writers, including Nazi hunter Simon Wiesenthal, who wrote a popular book, Sales of Hope, on the explorer, think he was a Jew. Landing of Columbus, October 12, 1492, painting by John van der Glen. Christopher Columbus crew on the first voyage. Luis de Torres, Christopher Columbus. Luis de Torres. Columbus Hebrew language interpreter. Columbus ships crew. Of the four voyages of Columbus, only the crew of the first voyage is completely known. Alice Botch Gold spent decades combing various archives in Spain, eventually accounting for each of the 87 crewmen of the Nina, Penta, and Santa Maria. Crew of the Santa Maria, Luis de Torres, interpreter. Luis de Torres, who died in 1493, was Christopher Columbus' interpreter on his first voyage to America. De Torres' life has been the subject of various legends. The most widespread one, which can be found in the Encyclopedia 
Judaica and similar reference books is that the Torres was a Jewish converso or convert escaping the banishment of the Jews from Spain and that he became in his latter days a wealthy and honored landowner in the West Indies. This version goes back to Mayor Caselin's book, Christopher Columbus and the Participation of the Jews and the Spanish and Portuguese Discoveries, 1894. The story of the Torres addressing a native tribe in Hebrew after Columbus' first landfall has been proven to be fact as 1,200 Hebrew stones have been discovered among a native temple in Puerto Rico, confirming the writing of Columbus that the language of the native was Hebraico Corrompendo, which is also in the book. To Mayor Caselin's book, Christopher Columbus and the Participation of the Jews in the Spanish and Portuguese Discovery. Hebraico Corrompido, Corrupted Hebrew. Hebraico Corrompido, Corrupted Hebrew. Columbus and his crew spoke to the native Indians of the Western Hemisphere in the Hebrew language. A hundred ancient stones with Hebrew writing in Puerto Rico authenticated. Columbus was looking for the lost tribes of Israel. He found them in the Western Hemisphere. Abraham the Hebrew, a wall painting from the oldest synagogue in the world, Dera Europis. Abraham, Genesis 17 and 1. And when Abraham was 90 years old and nine, the Lord appeared to Abraham and said unto him, I am the almighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect. And I will make my covenant between me and thee and will multiply thee exceedingly. And Abraham fell on his face and God talked with him saying as for me behold my covenant is with thee and thou shalt be a father of many nations neither shall thy name any more be called Abraham but thy name shall be Abraham for a father of many nations have I made thee. Genesis 14 and 13. And there came one that had escaped and told Abram the Hebrew. Ten Lost Tribes. Ten lost tribes the ten lost tribes was the ten of the twelve tribes of Israel that was said to have been exiled from the kingdom of Israel after its conquest by the Neo-Assyrian Empire circa 722 BCE these are the tribes of Reuben Simeon Dan Naphtali, Gad, Asher, Issachar, Zebulon, Manasseh, and Ephraim. All but 
Judah and Benjamin, as well as some members of Levi, the priestly tribe, which did not have its own territory. To be continued 